In this video, we are going to discuss how to export your results from TIP 10 and submit to Blackboard for grading. First thing, make sure that whenever you're looking under training and looking at your lessons, make sure to note that you do have at least one time completed. If you haven't done the lesson yet, this will show a zero. Once you see this here, you are going to want to navigate across the top menu bar and go to results. As you go through and progress through the class, you will have more lessons appearing throughout this overall drop-down list here. You can also, just as a side note, you will be able to work on and select either specific lessons from the drop-down menu or look at different areas as far as past 24 hours or past seven days for your lessons. The thing you wanna do though to actually download your results is all the way at the end here there's a little icon that whenever you hover over it, it's going to say View Report. If you click on View Report, it's going to show you your overall lesson results here. Now, in the upper right-hand corner here, you're gonna see three little icons here. The icon that you wanna click on is the one that looks like a little PDF, and when you hover over it, it says Export PDF. Now, since I'm on Firefox, it's gonna go ahead and open a preview of my PDF document here. The things that I'm primarily concerned about and what I will be looking at whenever I'm grading is I will be looking at your characters with the most typing errors, your characters and your keystrokes, your speed and your duration. Again, as we start out in this class, do not worry about your duration. We will be working on that throughout the semester. Last thing you're gonna to need to do is actually come up and download the PDF. And the P it's going to ask you, what would you like to do with this PDF? So I'm going to make sure that Save File is clicked and tell it OK. So it should now download and save into my Downloads folder. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could actually make a backup or you could move it on your computer. So let's say, for instance, I actually want to save it to my 102 folder. I could click and drag and drop this over on into my 102 folder here. When I'm ready to submit, I'm going to navigate back to our 102 course. You're going to want to navigate to the course module, and in this case we'll use week two, and you're going to want to go back to your weekly assignment slash homework folder. When you submit something on the Blackboard LMS, you're going to actually click on the title to open your submission area. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and you see that it gives you additional assignment information, the points possible, and then reiterates the information that you had available to you. You're going to want to locate Assignment Submission, and under Assignment Submission, there's an Attach Files area. You're going to want to browse your local files, locate where you saved that file, so in my case, I can come here and click Open. You will then see an Attached Files section appear, and underneath you'll see the file name. This part is important. You want to make sure that when you hit the submit button, you let it go through and load the actual file. Too often I'll see students where they'll hit submit and immediately come up and X out of the browser. This can leave it hanging and not give the file a chance to upload. So you wanna make sure that you give it time to actually upload and refresh the page. And that is the process for both your learning activities and even your projects that you will use to submit your assignments for CIT 102.